Today I'm going to be showing you how to add textures to Emergent YC using Assets Bundle Extractor. Um, it's a simple program you can get. Let's see if I can find a link to it. I'm gaming. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably the worst statement to wake up to. <laughs> what? Today I'm gonna be showing you textures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm not dreaming. Wait a minute. What is going on? I was like, why is there version why you see a thing in here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what alright so the link will be below <laughs> to, yeah to uh, get unity assets bundle tracker um, well no people wanted to know how to do this so um, so you launch Assets Bundle Extractor, when that loads, uh, make sure, well, let me open up a new one, file, open, navigate to the Emergent YC data folder, wherever that is, scroll down to resources.assets, and click open. I've already opened it once, so we don't need to open it again. Here's the fun part. Um, the way I did this was scrolling down to where everything says textures right here and selecting everything from where texture 2D begins down to where it ends and then clicking plugins. Let me just click a texture here. Plugins, export to PNG, click OK. You'll be prompted with this window. You navigate to where you want it, click save. Some things can't be loaded so you'll have to press the enter key while you're waiting until it exports everything to PNG. Once I did that, I sorted through the files and found where all the police textures were in their names. You'll notice there's a path ID, then there's a name. A lot of the names match, especially on the police cars, so you have to pay attention to the path ID. Um, which one's which. So in this case, let's swap. Let me swap out this canine texture. I don't think I have anything there. So we'll search that by name, and we have to pay attention to the path ID, which is 4378. Press F3 to quickly skip through it. 4378, here it is. Let's go to plugins. We're going to export this real quick. Make sure we have something that's there. <laughs> okay, so it's still Canon Resources. So let's go find a skin that we can put in. I already have all four of these in there. Let's see. Actually, I, I'm feeling in the mood for a New York State Police skin. Let's go to LCPDFR. Don't think I have any. Gad, Massachusetts. Well, let's see. I'm curious.
download. <laughs> You'll notice a lot of the skins, uh, textures will fit on a texture from LCPFR. So, for example, I downloaded this texture as my police texture. It matches the one texture perfect perfectly. The vehicles, however, in game <coughs> aren't UV mapped very well. So you'll notice a little bit of a uh, uh, little graphical bugs here and, and there in game. Let's show this folder. Drag this over here. Close this. Let's let's throw some. Uh, this should work. Yeah, I think this is gonna work quite well. Not perfect, but uh, it will do something. I'm just gonna crap. Get rid of this one. There we go. Okay. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Just making sure everything is gonna match up like it should, and it looks uh pretty good. All right, so we go back here. Take a look at the canine. Go in there, go plugins, edit, click OK again, and click load. You're going to select the file you want. It has to be 2048 by 2048, especially if it's a texture. Or if the texture is of a different size, just make sure you match that texture so there won't be any bugs or crashes when you try to load the game. Now, you, you can either do one of two things. You can click OK and save it. Let me get rid of the older resource assets here. And let's get rid of this one too. Uh, in this case, I'm going to click OK. You can come up to the top here and click Save. And then you just have to click OK again. I just like to do it all in one go. You click Yes and click Save. And give it some time. I will probably link the textures that I found to match in the description below. Um, I will also link a list of the known CVPI skin names and some of the other skin names, so like your Suburban here, um, or Tahoe, depending on how you look at it, uh, your uh, 14, uh, I think it's unit 14 or whatever it is that uh, the first vehicle that shows up in game when you go in game <laughs> CRCs um, each of them are different the Crown Vics actually say Crown Victoria alright so we are now in game uh, let me just close the scenarios window out we should be able to do let me move this mic it's in my way a little bit okay so we should be able to do 50 F2? Yeah, 52. Uh, open up a Crown Vic. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying there seems to be a texture issue here. And it's not every texture. It's only certain ones. Certain ones actually line up pretty well. Others just don't. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure what that is. It's, uh... Do a little bit of F4 here. Let's cycle through. So there's our state police. Looking beautiful. As I said before, you can't really ask for too much. Um, I don't think they were actually really planning on this being a thing. Um, well, they definitely weren't. Uh, not so soon, at least. Get a screenshot here and go ahead and let's make it a let's make it an unmarked. At least we can get it closed. Let's change the weather there up a little bit. Uh, let's 
get a clear sky going here. And let's make it summertime. Shots. Uh, oh, F1, so I can save those. Alright, and that should be it. Uh, just follow the simple instructions, you should be able to add textures into your game. Uh, they won't be perfect, unless you really want to take the painstaking time to make them perfect. But other than that, I mean, you can have some fun. So.